Greetings gastronauts, this is Keith Cooks and Keith and today I'm going to show you something very very special and close to my heart. Ladies and gentlemen, gourmets, gourmands, epicures and gastronomes, I bring you the prince of pastries, the pinnacle of pies, the emperor of empanadas, steak and kidney pie. I'm doing this for Susie who moved to America from England about 30 years ago and she's terribly homesick for England, especially its wonderful food and especially steak and kidney pie. So steak and kidney pie is one of the most common varieties of pie and uh, it's also in my opinion the most wonderful. A lot of people say they don't like kidney but I think that's probably more to do with them never actually having tried it than anything else. Anyway, steak and kidney pie, not hard to do, let's do it. Okay, ingredients for the hot water pastry. I've got 500 grams of plain white all-purpose flour, 200 grams of lard, 250 mils of hot water, a teaspoon of salt. And what we do is um, add a teaspoon of salt to the flour. And then I've got the lard cut into small chunks. So I'm going to add that to the hot water in a pan and simmer it until the lard has melted. We just stir the salt into the flour, get it nicely mixed. Now this hot water pastry is uh, almost exactly the same as I would use for pork pies, except there's a bit less lard and a bit more water, and that makes for a slightly softer pastry, whereas pork pies are generally quite hard. So the lard has all melted into the water. I'm going to put half of it in with the flour and stir that in. I just do it this way because uh, Otherwise you have a lot of water to incorporate all at once and it's very hot. <laughs> and now put the rest of it in and stir that in. You probably won't be able to get all of the flour properly incorporated so we need to finish it off just by giving it a bit of a, a knead by hand. Okay, nice smooth blob of dough and I'm just going to wrap it in plastic film and stick it in the fridge to cool down to more or less room temperature. I know it's people say you should use hot water pastry while it's hot. Uh, that's not actually really necessary. Ingredients for the steak and kidney pie filling. I've got 500 grams of diced beef, 250 grams of ox kidney or pork kidney, 750 mils of beef stock, a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of pepper, and a collection of onions, a large one, a couple of medium ones, or a lot of little ones. And the forgotten ingredient, a teaspoon of parsley. So this, this is ready diced beef from the supermarket and those chunks are way too big so I'm going to cut them a lot smaller because you don't want a massive chunk of stuff like that sticking up through the top of your pie. You really don't. And ox liver. Previously when I've done steak and kidney I would always use lamb's kidneys because that, that's what I could get. But uh, on my steak and kidney pudding video I had a comment from Tim Catley, hello Tim, who said pig or ox is much much better. So trying it with ox and if it's not nice it's his fault. <laughs> Only joking. So I'm just going to cut these oversized beef chunks into more sensible size. And then I'll just uh, toss them in a bit of flour get them all coated and this is just to well it's meant to seal in the juices I don't believe it does at all but what it will do is uh, thicken the gravy so now I want to peel and chop the onions and just chop them into smallish pieces now I've got some rapeseed oil heating to quite high heat and then we'll just add the beef keep turning the chunks of beef till they're sort of browned on all sides. Okay now I'm going to throw the beef into a big pan and add the stock which is both wibbly and wobbly. And there's a load of BCBs left in the pan which we will need. So um, I'll just heat it up again and add some water to deglaze it and just scrape that all off and add it to the pan with the beef in. Okay, that's bubbling away. You can see we've got some scum in the middle there, so I'll just skim that off. Skim off the scum. Now I'll pop that on the back burner to simmer away and put the 
outrageously heavy frying pan back on. Chuck some oil in that. That's just ordinary vegetable oil. And throw in our little onions. So we want to get them all coated in the oil and we want them to cook until they're soft but not brown, which will take maybe five to ten minutes. Okay, onions are how I want them. So I'm just going to pop those in with the meat and I'll pop a lid on it. Now, you might have spotted this is a pressure cooker, so once that's come up to pressure, I'm going to cook it for about 20 minutes and that will make the, the meat nice and tender and then we'll finish it off and add the kidney and the seasoning and so on. Uh, if you're using a regular saucepan, put the lid on, bring it to the boil, turn it down and simmer it for three hours. Okay, here's our space alien ox kidney, very weird looking stuff. And what we need to do is chop this into little bits and get all of the sort of tubes and grungy bits out. There we are, lots of lovely little chunks of kidney. Now we need to just saute these, brown them off and then we can add them to the meat and stock and onion mix. So a bit of oil heating in the pan and chuck the kidneys in. Okay, that'll do for them. So we'll just turn the heat off, leave those in the pan until the meat has finished tenderizing. Okay, so here's, here's the, the meat, onion, water, and I've tested the meat and it is falling to bits just as it should be. So now we'll add the kidneys. Make sure you get all the liquid in as well because that's lovely. And now let's work on the seasonings. A generous half teaspoon of black pepper, a teaspoon of salt, and a teaspoon of parsley. Okay, let's stir that all together and then we'll have a taste. Yeah, that's nice. So what we're doing now is boiling it rapidly to reduce the um, volume of filling by about half. Okay, that's about what we want and um, I'm just going to sift in some flour to thicken it up a bit. Then I'm going to put that in a container and stick it in the fridge or the freezer to cool down to pretty much room temperature because if you put hot filling into your pie casing you will get a soggy bottom and nobody wants that. Okay, ready to roll. <laughs> so I've got a tin that I'm going to do the pie in that is 23 centimeters 9 inch diameter and it's rubbish non-stick so I'm going to butter the inside of it as I always do and then put that out the way and hurl some flour onto the worktop and we want a bit under half of the pastry to do the lid and just roll it out until it's uh, about I don't know four or five millimeters thick about well a bit under a quarter of an inch and what we want to do is cut out the lid just uh, trim around the edge of the tin put that on one side and roll the rest of the pastry out to form the base then we just uh, lift up one edge, bring the tin in, slam it in carefully. <laughs> and just press it down into the edges and trim off the excess. So I've got the oven preheating to 210 degrees because it's a convection oven. Celsius degrees, the real ones. If you don't have a fan oven, 230. So basically hot. Hot, hot, hot. Now I've got my... Uh, my case and I got my filling and I'm just gonna strain the meat and you know the steak and the kidney and the onion out of the gravy so I want to keep some of the gravy for later ooh fabulous now I'm gonna moisten the edge with cold water and pop the lid on and then just press it round with your thumbs all the way around to get a good seal and then lift up the edge squeeze it together again and I'm going to do this extravagant sort of crimping thing <laughs> that makes me laugh so it's finger and thumb finger from the other hand press it in and uh, make some holes in it with a fork to let the steam escape and then paint it with uh, beaten egg and milk to glaze it oh, I'm just going to decorate it with a bit of 
parsley sprinkled on at strategic points. Right, and that goes in the oven for 40 minutes, but I'll check it after 30 just in case. And there it is, a lovely steak kidney pie. So I'm gonna let that cool down a little bit before I can get some out of the tin. So let's cut the pie open and see what we've got. I suspect it might be something marvellous. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Here's the pie with some sous vide buttery new potatoes and some ironic kale, which I will not eat. <laughs> and some gravy made from the sauce of the uh, steak kidney. Thickened up a bit. Mm. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Terrible, terrible, terrible British food. Awful stuff. Don't ever try it. And that's that. Hope you enjoyed it. Now please share it with all your friends on social media. Subscribe to this channel. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest. And don't forget the amazing website that has all the details of all the recipes. And thank you for watching. Come back soon.